The Sugar Cookies As Luca lay in bed listening to his mother reading a story about a rabbit. His stomach rumbled, and he sunk into his blanket. When the story finished, his mother kissed him on his forehead, his father tucked him in bed, and they both left him in his room. After a while, his stomach growled again. And Luca remembered that he did not have a proper dinner. He wanted the sugar cookies that were in the cupboard. But his mother had warned him that he should not eat them at night. She promised him that she would give them to him in the morning after breakfast. However, Luca was an impatient boy, he waited for a few minutes and finally heard his parents go into their room. He motioned for his dog, Alfie, to come quietly. The golden retriever perked up his head and then looked around. As Luca slid down from his bed and tiptoed to his door, Alfie also followed him. Luca slowly and quietly opened his door and peeked out his head to look for any sign of his parents. When he heard his father's voice coming from their room, he quietly motioned for Alfie to follow him. And together, they tiptoed to the stairs and climbed down. When Luca reached the kitchen, he saw that the cupboard was too high and couldn't get it. He tried to drag one of the dining table chairs quietly and climbed up. All this while Alfie watched him quietly, and when Luca reached for the cupboard door, he smiled down at his dog triumphantly. He climbed down with the sugar cookie jar and sat on the chair. After opening it, he ate some of the cookies. He also gave some to Alfie. After finishing all of the cookies, he left the jar on the counter but put the chair back in its place. After completing his mission, they both snuck back into his room. In the morning, when Luca came down, his mother was merrily making breakfast and his father was reading the newspaper on the table. Seeing them in a good mood. Luca sighs in relief, thinking he got away with his mission last night. When he sat on the chair at breakfast, his mother wished him good morning, and he smiled at her. After a while, she casually says, Luca, did you eat cookies at night? Luca shakes his head in a no gesture and says, I fell asleep after you left. He lied. Maybe Alfie ate them. He muses. His mother hummed and went back to making breakfast. After that, Luca went to school. But during the entire school day, his teeth ached and bothered him. When he came back home, he started crying. His mother asked him what the issue was. And he told her about his toothache. His parents immediately took him to the dentist. When the dentist inspected Luca's teeth, he said, Luca, your gums are swollen, and your teeth might be at risk for cavities due to overeating sugar. Luca looks at the dentist, horrified. I don't want black teeth, he exclaimed. The dentist prescribed him some medicine and sent him home. At home, his parents confronted him and asked again. His mother asks, Luca, did you eat those sugar cookies? Luca looked down in shame and nodded his head. His mother said, If you do something wrong, you should own it. Otherwise, you will always face the consequences that come with lying. You could have prevented your toothache if you had come to us. We would have made you brush your teeth before sleeping. Luca apologized to his parents and promised them that he would never lie again. He also said that he would brush his teeth every day before going to sleep. Both mom and dad gave Luca a big hug.